Hello and welcome back to our on-demand videos for DocuSign. My name is CJ Johnson. I'm a training specialist with the awesome tech training team at Keller Williams. Today we're going to talk about in-person signing and the benefits of that to help you in your DocuSign account. Okay, now you can see we're in the DocuSign room here and we're just going to go through the steps of setting up an envelope. So I'm going to select the forms that I need to use in that envelope. I'll select this form here, maybe this form here as well. And then we're just going to go to those smaller icons above and I'm going to click on the slanted pin that says create envelope. From here, we know to select our recipients for the envelope. So I'm just going to select two recipients here and click continue. All right, we're going to be able to set up this envelope just like we would normally. So typically we would have our buyer and seller names in here. It looks like we already have Bugs Bunny in there. Um, and let's go ahead and say uh, Tony Stark is our other recipient here. And we can change that email if we need to. From here, we know we have the different options to select from. We're going to choose in-person signer. And you notice it now will appear and show a host name and a host email. If you are the one setting up this in-person signing situation, then you're going to be the host. So you're going to have your host name in here along with your email. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my name in there as the host, and it's going to have my email as well. From here, we can still pull it, put in an email message and subject and click next and go to the second step, which is setting up those signing fields uh, and other standard or pre-fill tool fields. All right, we can look through this. We see our pre-tagged roles in there. If everything looks good from here, we'll go ahead and click send. What this is going to do, it's going to send an email to your email as the host. So whatever email that's connected to uh, with this DocuSign account, that's the email it's going to go to. Another really good tech tip for this is if you're doing in-person signing, you're going to want to make sure you're doing it either on a laptop or maybe even tablet, something of that nature, because you're going to be passing that device back and forth between the two people that are going to be signing right in front of you. All right, once you open up your email, it'll prompt you to see a screen like this. And this will be the next steps that we need to go through in order for in-person signing. Now, the really cool thing about this, it'll give you five steps here in order, letting you know the process for the in-person signing. So we're going to go ahead and click Start. Continue, and I'm just going to go through these prompts here. They'll go through and sign. So Tony Stark is signing right now. So he has the laptop or the tablet. He'll go through and sign his designated areas. Click finish, and then they can request a copy to their email. We're just going to skip that part. Now it's going to say, hey, pass the device, whether it's a laptop or iPad, tablet, pass it back to the host here. And then from there, I can pass it to uh, the other person that needs to sign for this transaction. So you can see if you go back into the envelope, now we have a check by Tony Stark. He has signed in person. We see the time, date stamp down to the second, very accurate. And we can see we still have one more signer that needs to complete their task. And that's going to be Bugs Bunny for this example here. And they need to sign in person. So there will be another email that has been sent to your account. You can go in and open that up and then pass the device over to the second person that needs to sign. As you can see, as you open up that second email for that second person that needs to sign in person, it's gonna go through the same steps as we did before and prompt you with the same screen here. Once everyone has signed in person, we're gonna see our status has changed in a couple areas here. So number one, we can now see the envelope has been completed, it has that green bar over it, over it a check mark, and the date as, that it's been completed as well. In the documents area, we can see our two signed forms now completed here with the signed symbol over them as well. Okay, so now you can see the process of going through the in-person signing feature here. Now, we might be thinking, why might I use this? What are the benefits? You could use this if maybe the people signing this aren't tech savvy and it would be a lot easier for them to sign in person than trying to figure out where you sent them this in their email or uh, maybe they don't feel comfortable signing this sensitive information and documents over the internet. Well, they can do it in person. This is going to eliminate barriers and make it a lot easier for you to help your clients and really maximize your potential in your business through DocuSign. 
All right. Uh, thank you for joining us for our on-demand videos for DocuSign. If you have any questions, you can email our tech training team at learncommand at kw.com. <laughs>